Okay, hey guys. So, um, today I'm going to be showing you, like, how to take apart one of these TVs. Not really take apart, obviously. The case is already off. That's really simple. All you have to do for the case is just unscrew the screws, right? There's four screws, you know, right here. Four screws. You just take them off, right? So, I'm going to be showing you really what to do is to take off that deflection coil is really what I'm going to be showing you how to do. Okay? And so, um, first what you got to do is very carefully, right, what, what taking off the deflection coil will do is instead of having the image on the screen, it will just have a dot in the center and then you're free to play with the beam. So, what you do is you first grab the uh, end of the circuit board that's connected to the end of the electron gun. And you just sort of wiggle it out. Make sure not to touch any of the metal on this because that contains super high voltage, right? You want to make sure especially to not touch that thing right there, the uh, flyback transformer. Super dangerous. Then what we do is we have two screws here, right? One there and one there. you got to unscrew the screws. These, just make sure to not touch any of the uh, metal on the deflection coil there. But um, you can you can touch the screws. It's okay. One's screwed on pretty tight. Sometimes they are screwed on really tight, and you just gotta. Oh, this one's screwed on really easily. So you want to take off the screw and make sure it doesn't fall on the circuit board and short it out. That'd be bad. And then you can just pull the screw out. This metal will just unbend if you pull it out. It'll just unbend, and then you can just take it off of the neck of the gun. Okay. Now let me try to get this other screw. It's it's on pretty tight. There we go. I got it. Sometimes they can be a little stubborn here, because obviously these things aren't meant for taking apart, um, at least not to this level. But this, so what I'm doing here will basically let you um, uh, basically play with the beam, essentially. So you can put like um, voltage differential next to the beam to see how that will affect it. Then once it's unscrewed enough, you can just pull that off. And then all these, you can just grab them and be able to pull them off. This um, deflection coil here might be on a bit tighter, but it, it might need, these things might have to be broken off. Anyway, just take it and you can sometimes just push it off. I guess not in this case. In this case, one second. In this case, it's on too tight, so you are going to have to break the plastic, right? That gun won't, that won't pull off the gun. So just grab the plastic somehow and pull it up, bend it up like that, right? Then you grab the next piece of plastic somehow. And uh, bend it up or break it, either one. Oh well. Anyway, then once enough of them are bent up or broken, then it will just easily pop off the gun. Let's see, right now, is it? Yeah, there we go. So I only had to do a couple that time. Then you take the deflection coil and just set it down, and you're going to find that it's plugged in. Right? You want to unplug it. So, uh, sometimes there's going to be little ties, twist ties, or some sort of tie on the cable. You want to remove those, and then just unplug it. Make sure to not touch any of the electronics with your hand. Right? There's another twist tie, so we want to undo those make sure that the cable isn't attached to the TV anymore. Pull it off, 
There's your deflection point. So you now need a dipole magnet. That's what this is. There's two dipole magnets, one this way and one that way, to do the uh, vertical. Now you have your gun, right? <coughs> and um, it's bare, as you can see. You're going to take this, and you're going to just make sure to be grabbing the edges again, and you're going to push it back on. Now, at that point, just get it so it can stay on its own. Then you take the butt of something plastic, you take in the center, and you push it, and it should go back in place. So now everything is done. You have your bare gun. So now, if we were to turn it on, I'm going to get a grab it and aim it at the screen. If, if we were to turn it on, you're going to see that there's only going to be a dot in the center of the screen. Okay, and that pixel right there is not the dot. So you, you're going to see the dot, but that little blinky pixel right there is not not the dot. That's just something wrong with my camera. You'll notice it's in all of my videos since quite a while now. Okay. So we plug in the TV. Turn it on. Try not to stand right in front of the TVs like this because they can emit x-rays. Seems that this TV is broken. Huh. Oh well. Also, you want to make sure that below the circuit board, there is nothing. Maybe the circuit board is. There we go. There's the dot you see, and watch out, that dot will burn a hole in the phosphor, and it can emit x-rays at you, so don't stand right in front of it. Anyway, you're going to see, I'm going to go get a 9-volt battery here, and you won't see it much, but when you put an electric potential near the gun, it bends the beam slightly, so if we turn it on, wait for the dot to appear. probably can't see that, but um, 9 volts isn't much. You probably need like a couple hundred volts, you could easily see it, but um, magnets, magnets work very well, so that better than anything else they work, uh, that I can at least find, so if I can find a magnet, I'll show you guys. Uh, Magnet, magnet. Um, aha, magnet. All right, you're going to see when I put a magnet next to the beam, here's the magnet. When I put it next to the beam, when I put it next to the beam, it really curves the beam. You'll see. You can see when I put it next to the beam, it gets all curvy, right? And if I put it at different spots in the gun, the closer I put it to the red one, and the closer the red one will bend, and etc. So you can see how magnets influence the beam. Anyway, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the um, video and. Have fun doing this with your own TV, and do experiments, and um, put them on the form page of my website. Put uh, the finding of your experiment with the TV on quitnuclearscience.webs.com slash apps slash form. And um, anyway, the, the URL will be in the description. But uh, thanks for watching, and have fun. These TVs, and people give them away. There's no, no difficulty. I already have three for free, so this is my fourth. No difficulty at all in getting them. So uh, have fun with your TV.